Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today I'm happy and I will say you we will start new series about the parametric and about the dynamo. We will use both of them and we will speak more about these two topics. We will use parametric for each element in our project and we will use dynamo to get this all parametric thing and also we will change it by dynamo. Anyway, I think it will be more most interesting series. So for this topic, I will use this project. What you can see right now in your screen. So this project you can get if you go to the below this video, you will find uh, some link to my Patreon, to my game road, and you can get this model. I think this is enough and we can start. So let's start our first tutorial about dynamo and parametric things. First, we will go to the basement floor. We can actually go to the any floor, but here I will show you the my idea. Uh, as you see here, I have the three different the furniture, right? So, and for example, you want to make the some union parameter between these three type of the furniture because this is our coffee table here, the eight feet size, our sofa, and here the say six feet size. So but we should create the union parameter. How we can do it? We will go to the manage and here you will find the project parameter. Let's choose the, our project parameter and as you see this is blank one, we will create some new one. Uh, let's go to the find the furniture, you can find it here and let's make the checkbox. Let's then write name like, uh, I don't know, like and don't forget about the type and instance type this is parameter inside your object instance parameter this is parameter what you can do, change instantly so it means you no need to go to the inside your project uh, inside your uh, family uh, after that we in discipline will change i uh, will leave on the common and here we will change to the text and here they automatically will change to the text let's say okay let's say okay now if I will select one of this object, for example this one, you will find here under the text some new parameter. Let's choose that one, you will find new one and here. So we have the union parameter, but the thing if I will choose this parameter and I will change here the five, for example this will be cost like $15, that, that one will be like 10 and here it will be 5. So all of this parameter we can now use in our schedule and we can uh, manipulate with these parameters. So let's get create the schedule. We will go to the schedule, just right click here and create new one. So here you will find our furniture here. And let's say, okay, we don't need to change anything. Of course, if you are using different phase, just change it. But I will use the project and condition. So let's say, okay. And here now the our uh, future schedule asking us what the type of the field we want. Of course, I want the family because I want to understand which one the name is it is. And the new parameter what we created. You can find it here. Let's do it. And let's say, okay. Now we are inside in our new schedule and as you see, we can now see our sofa, it's like $15, our, kind of, uh, our the other sofa, it's $10 and our coffee table 5. So if I will change here, for example, to 25, it's immediately will change here. So let's find it. So this is not and this is one, 25. But let's say you have uh, not like here, it's like around 20 types. You have thousand types and you want okay, you, you want change it each one to, for example, by category, by, uh, for example, all the sofa or all the chairs should have the same, uh, same, uh, same, um, I don't know, the price. Of course, you can do like this. You can write, for example, here the 10 and you can copy it to everywhere you're able to do it but uh, let's say we will try to use dynamo for this this thing and I will show you how so let's open our dynamo you can find it under the manage and here the dynamo let's open up and let's create the new parameter 
and let's create the new parameter. Hold on, new one. So the first thing we need to understand, so uh, I will open on the full one because we should uh, work now only in Dynamo. So first one, we should understand what category type we want. We want furniture, so I will write the category, category. So category, and here you can write, see categories, okay. So we want the category, the furnishing. So let's find it here, the analytical model here, everything in your project. So let's find it, furnishing, as you see, as you can see here. Okay, so what the next? We want all element all elements of category all elements of type of elements all category this one because we want take all elements from this category so let's connect them and if you will uh, use the checkbox here you will see the all elements now inside this category. Let's uh, make the small window and you will see this is same, same the list as here, right? So let's continue. The second thing, what we need, we need to get some parameters. So we need, I will write it here, element get parameter value by value by name here okay i will connect element and element and now i need the name of the parameter as you remember our parameter this is c uh, c underscore unders, uh, underscore and f let's the use common string because string using only for the text and let's write the C underscore F. Oh, sorry. Like this. And let's connect. Oh, I wrote R. I mean F. Sorry, my wrong. Let's connect. And let's check it what we get now. As you see, we get all our value. You can see it here on this table. I mean the uh, yeah in this table. Okay, so now we want uh, sort of this. How we can do it? For example, we want to change all these parameters uh, by category. I mean, we want to change all the furniture. Uh, for that one, I need the some simple parameter like the element set parameter elements and parameter by name here let's connect our uh, our element by element our parameter by parameter by name and here we we should create some value so now just uh, double click on the left uh, left bottom mouse and write the uh, parameter what you want for example i want 10 and all of my the furniture will be 10 not it's not because i did the wrong because we are not using uh, the numbers we are using the string so i need create like this so now it's string and as you see now it's changed all of them to 10. you can see all of them now it's 10 and if i will check it here it's also 10. as you understand i can manipulate from dynamo to the Revit. So, but now we will, uh, I will show you the more close. For example, I want change only, for example, these uh, chairs. So let's do it. For that one, I need to just change only the element. So let's do it. How to do that? We will uh, use the command family type, family type. Okay, here are the family types. 
and which type of the family we want as i said we want some chair right so here i find some chair kelly chair let's check kelly chair right we will use that one okay so the next we need to get all elements elements of family so we want all these uh, families right all family type so as you see here under section selection you will find it here now just simple thing we need connect this one to that one and let's see on the result as you see we get eight of this type of the families of course you can count here how many here we have the uh, it looks like we have here also eight one because i forgot that one so this is also eight chairs chairs right this is chairs right so what we're gonna do next next we will just connect to this this to this parameter and but before i will do that i will switch off the value let's connect it and for example i want change to this uh uh price let's say 55 okay and i will connect to the value uh nothing changes nothing changes oh my god it's it's is it is changed as you see if you will go here you can see we changed all these parameters uh actually we can go more deep we can change everything what we want we can get the groups uh even we uh, i don't know we can change by for example by face or by level so it's really nice thing because uh, you can sort it in uh, dynamo and you can manipulate with that one in your uh, revit schedule and i think that's it for today and uh, i think you will find it interesting and we will continue this series and we will go more deep to the data in revit and how you can manipulate this data by dynamo and this is really a deep topic but i will try to explain you everything and show you most interesting things and that's it from today thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe my social media leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time